In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 8, Section 4, Calculator Permitted, Questions 15 through 17. We're in the middle of the problem solving section, so medium difficulty questions. Let's take a look at 15. A granite block in the shape of a right rectangular prism has dimensions 30 centimeters by 40 centimeters by 50 centimeters. The block has a density of 2.8 grams per cubic centimeter. What is the mass of the block in grams? Density is mass per unit volume. So we have to find the mass, and they give us the formula D equals, that's what is means, mass per unit volume. So that's mass divided by volume. So to solve for M, we just multiply both sides by V, and we get D times V equals M. And we're also given that the density is 2.8, and we can figure out the volume. This is a right rectangular prism. That's a three-dimensional object with two equal bases. And we know the formula for volume is just multiplying all three dimensions, length times width times height. And so we multiply 30 times 40 times 50. 4 times 5 is 20, times 3 is 60. We add three zeros, that would be 60,000. You could also use your calculator. And this will give us the answer. And I am going to use the calculator for this. 2.8 2.8 times 60,000. 168,000, and the answer is D. All right, let's take a look at question number 16. The table shows results of a research study that investigated the therapeutic value of vitamin C in preventing colds. A random sample of 300 adults received either a vitamin pill, C pill, or a sugar pill each during a two-week period, and the adults reported whether they contracted a cold during that time period. What proportion of adults who received a sugar pill reported contracting a cold? This is just a probability question, a proportion. We're only asking adults who receive this, this placebo, this sugar pill. And so if we look at the table, that's the total. Only those people who received the sugar pill, what proportion of those contracted a cold? So cold, just 33 over 150, that's it. And if you look at the choices, we don't have this, but equal ratio looks like B because we divide both sides by three, right? We would get 33 divided by three is 11, 150 divided by three is 50, and that's the answer, B. All right, let's take a look at the last question, number 17. The table shows the distribution of ages of 20 students enrolled in a college class. Which of the following gives the correct order of the mean, median, and mode of the ages? And so we have 18 to 30 different ages, and then how frequently those students' ages appear. So let's start with the mode. That's probably the easiest one. That's the most common occurring age, and that's 18. So we know that the mode equals 18. Now the median, the middle of the distribution. I'll give you a good shortcut to figure out the median. We know there's 20 students. Now 20 is an even number. And so you're not going to have a median won't be one of those because you can't have one median and then divide evenly on both sides. You only can do that with an odd number. With an even number, you're going to have the average of the two middle terms. That's the median. If you want a good shortcut to figure it out, we know it's from 1 to 20. Those are the number of students. Take the first and the last term, add them together, and divide by 2. And so the median is 10.5, right? It's the average of the 10th and 11th terms. Now, obviously, you can't have that. You can't have a student at 10.5, right? But or that you can't have a term at 10.5. But how do we figure it out? Well, I would just look at the table and just starting a map, add them up and see where it passes through from 10 to 11. I would start at the top because there's it's just faster. There's there's greater number of frequencies. So six, we're already at six. Then we, when we get to 19, we're adding five. Now we've gone to 11. This is going to be the median, 19, because we've gone from six to the 11th term, we pass through 10.5. You could also start at the bottom, but it's going to take more time to get to that 10.5. And so now we've figured out the median, the middle of the distribution is 19. And again, if you want to look for shortcuts, we know we've got mode and median. We don't know what the, the average is. So I, I was thinking we'd look for that order, but we don't know what the average is. And you can sort of eyeball it, but the average takes a little bit more time. We've seen these with tables before. You have to take the age, multiply by the frequency. 
to get the total and then you divide them you'd add them all up and then divide by the number of students which is 20. and so what i mean by that is there's one student at 30 so that's just the total is 30. then we've got a 23 just one so that's 23 sorry about the writing and we've got a 22 and this is going to be 42 because there's two of them and this is going to be an 80. 19 times 5, 19 times 20 is 100, so this is 95. And then 6 times 18, 6 times, that'd be 60 plus 48, that's 108. And so, see, this takes more time. And what we're going to do is add up the, the totals of all of these, and we know there's 20 students. So 108 plus 95 plus 80 plus 42 and this is going to be 45 those two together 23 and 22 and 30. looks like an even number right we divide by 20 that's the number of students and we get 20. all right so it took a little bit of time for this problem and you just have to work efficiently we know that the average or the mean is 20. so that's the biggest one the median is in the middle and the mode is the smallest and it looks like A, mean, median, and most.